when I was very small and people asked me what I wanted to be, I would say I wanted to be a mathematician. But if they asked me what is a mathematician, I hadn't a clue. I just knew my father was a mathematician. After Courant had interviewed me, he sent me out to have lunch with everybody. They sat at the table, they discussed Siegel's lecture on the packing of spheres, and then they talked about some theater, and then they talked about something else about New York. And I thought, ah, oh, this is a great place. <laughs> at some point, yeah. this turned into getting a thesis in your PhD. So how did that come about? Well, oh, that came about by my getting pregnant. <laughs> and uh, when I told uh, Courant that I was pregnant, he was, he rushed off and immediately uh, suggested a program so I'd get my PhD in three months. Once I got into the atmosphere around Courant, it was a very positive attitude. Courant had been the, the supporter of Emmy Nutter back in Göttingen years before. And, and so the idea of a woman having a profession was certainly accepted all around the Koran Institute. Why are there still so few women in mathematics, do you think? The idea that you can have a profession where you want to stay up all night proving a theorem, there's some women to whom that has no appeal. Well, the other area that I really worked on was scattering theory. And that was inspired by a lecture of Joe Keller's. I was sitting there listening to Joe talk. I thought, oh, well, you could look at the wave equation. In time, it's hyperbolic. And in space, it's elliptic. And then I went uh, after that lecture, and I started fooling around, and I came up with some crucial identities mm -hmm. within a few days. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I ever did anything fast. But mine was quite direct, and that was that the energy, if you make a disturbance around a certain class of objects, uh, being star-shaped, for example, is sufficient, that then the energy decays exponentially in any finite sphere. So that was the essence of the scattering theory. Do you have a favorite piece of work of yours? Getting estimates for the wave equation, that was sort of surprisingly easy, and so it's, in a way it's a favorite. Well, actually, my favorite paper is a paper on exponential decay of solutions of the wave equation, where I broke it up and showed how there's a piece going out. At every instance of time, you can take out a piece. Then you go forward in time, take out another piece. And then it's very easy, actually, to expect and to prove exponential decay. How did you become a trustee of Princeton? They had two women trustees, neither of whom were professionals, and they thought they should have a woman trustee who was a professional, and they, they claimed they looked in the files and uh, decided on the mother of Nancy Moravitz. And did you feel you had a real role to play in running the university? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I remember at every stage I always thought it must, the power must lie in some level above me. But I, I, I actually was eventually in the highest level of administration between, that fell to the trustees and the power didn't lie there either. <laughs>